Welcome back, everybody. This is Trading Learning 101. Now, going off of the title of this video here, this is going to be Day Trader Confessions. I am going to confess to all of you the ups, the downs, everything about day trading, all the way through from when you're first starting out till current right now. Okay? So. Let's go back to the beginning, all right? And first off, this is going to be jammed, packed with a lot of big, important stuff that a lot of people are not going to tell you. It's going to take you a long time to figure it out, and I hope this video gets the point across to all of you because it took me a while to realize a lot of this stuff and the process of it and reinsuring you that you're not alone you know everything that you're going to be going through and everything that you're feeling i've been there and everybody else has been there i mean everybody else has their own story but a lot of this stuff is going to relate to a lot of other traders and this is all what i went through and Let's get into it. So, <clears throat> first starting off as a day trader, um, it's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be very, very, very interesting to you. Uh, penny stocks, day trading, and all of that. Um, a lot of people are gonna tell you it's a scam. Don't get involved with it. It's like everybody I've come across just about everybody they're interested in the stock market but they tell you it's a scam it's it's gambling and over time through doing this it's not gambling it's risk management you can be successful at this and there are people who are successful at this it's not a scam you just have to put the work in learn it and you will be all right it may take you a year to get it, it may take you two years, it may take you three years, but you will get it. You just have to buckle down, dedicate yourself to it, and study. But going back to a lot of people telling you it's a scam, um, it's gambling, be careful, you'll lose all your money in it. Um, those are doubters. They're, they're straight up doubters. They never... Those are the type of people in my eyes that don't like to step out of their box. They like to be in their safe zone. You know, you, you can't be afraid to step out of your box and experiment and um, see what's out there. You know, there's a lot to, there's a lot going on, on in this world and you only live once. Take advantage of it. I am th 30 years old now. All through my 20s, I slept through life, I hated my job, and or jobs, and I wasn't doing anything with my life. And the stock market actually opened my eyes to life and what's out there in life. And I am actually striving to do better and be the best that I can be. All thanks to the market. It, like I said, it just opened my eyes and made me see what's out there getting over that then you're also going to have family your family's either going to stick with your side or they're going to be just like everybody else and tell you it's a scam it's gambling don't do it and they're not going to like what you do but you have to do whatever makes you happy you know at the end of the day you're not trying to make your parents or your family happy well you are in a way but you want to do what makes yourself happy you know, if, you're, if it's interesting to you, then get involved with it. Start learning it. You never know what will come from it. When you're getting into this, you're, you're going to have to, you're going to have to dedicate yourself to this. I cannot say that enough. You are going to have to dedicate yourself to this and have a passion for this if you want a chance to succeed at this. This is big stuff right here. This is life-changing stuff right here. Don't be that complainer that says, oh, I work all the time. 
I can't do I can't do it. I don't have enough time to study. Don't make excuses. Go after it. I I work 12 hours a day, 6 days a week at my job. I study my butt off before work, after work, on my one day off. I studied and studied and studied. Deprived myself of sleep to get this. And I was I I seen the light at the end. I as I was putting all this together, it was making sense. Yeah, it was frustrating at the beginning. And it was overwhelming at the beginning. But the more I did it, the more I started to fall even more in love with this. And like I said, putting the pieces together as the whole puzzle started to come together. Especially when you're working a lot like that and you're learning this, you're going to have family events come up, family gatherings that you're going to miss because you're going to want to study this. Family is going to be worried about you. You tell them, I'm you know, working and studying the market. I, I want to do this. I, I have to learn this. And they are going to be upset. But in the long run, after they see what you've become and what you've done with this, then they'll understand. At the moment, they won't understand. Don't make excuses. Okay, if you work a lot or if you have kids uh, and you say you never have time to study, you can make time to study. You can. You have to make time to study. Because the longer you prolong it, the longer it's going to take. And the more you dedicate yourself and the more you put the effort into this, the faster you'll get it. You're going to get frustrated doing this. Just want to quit, walk away, and don't even think about it again. You are, because there have been many times if I've wanted to quit this and move on to something else. And you just, you got to stick with it. You got to stick with it. It will get better the more you do it. It's like just like the 10,000 rule. You do something for 10,000 hours, they say you become a master at it. But with the stock market, it's a different story, story because the market is always changing. So it's hard to master. But I can say the more you do this, the easier it will get. You also have to have an open mind when you're learning about the market. Don't be afraid to try different things, learn different things. Um, you're going to have to do a lot of things yourself. Don't rely on anybody but yourself to uh, learn this and get this. It's up to you if you want to get this and learn this. You, you're the one putting the time into this. You're the one developing your strategy for this. There's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of emotions when getting into the market, and you're going to have to learn to handle those emotions. Almost like trading like a robot. There's when you look at charts, there's greed and there's panic. And if you keep looking at charts every single day, you'll start to see the greed and emotion in the charts. And you gotta learn to handle your greed and emotions. You have to put that in check and have great discipline. When you're first starting off in the market, it's like you're searching for the magic indicator that's always right. Sorry to break it to you, there is no magic indicator that's always right. You're going to have to get over that mindset of searching, that you're constantly searching for that indicator. Um, when I first started out trading, I was always searching for something. I was trying out the MACD, the oscillator, Fibonacci different moving averages wanting to believe that it's right all the time they they work because traders use those but there is no magic indicator out there that's right a hundred percent of the time this is trading you know 90 percent of traders fail at this uh, doesn't that say something in the statistics right there but there are indicator indicators out there that you may love or fall in love with you know that you would like to use and put into your strategy of trading I have my own uh, indicator I like using the VWAP the well-known moving averages the 50 day the, the 200 day and I use the 13 day exponential moving average and you will have your own indi uh, indicators or 
tools that you want to use that you like and that goes with your strategy. That's the great thing about trading. Everybody's different. Another thing I wanted to go over is a lot of people when they first get involved in the stock market or penny stocks or penny stocks is that they're going to get rich quick and that is not the case. Um, you may get lucky on your first trade or your first, first few trades and thinking that this is easy, but it's not easy. It takes a long time to learn and it takes a lot of patience discipline and studying to get this and even the great traders mess up sometimes this is why the market is so interesting it's hard it's hard to master because it's unmasterable you can't master the market because the market's always changing but you're not going to get rich quick it takes time and patience and going back to when i first started as a trader um I, I literally felt like I had to trade every single day to make money um, and being under the PDT rule getting only three day trades a week I said to myself this is impossible how am I gonna make money every day I was using my three day trades and then looking always to hold stocks overnight because I had that feeling I had to make money every single day and it's not like that over time it took me a while to to let this set in set in and let me tell you right now to save you a lot of money and a lot of time you do not have to trade every single day you don't have to trade it you don't even have to trade every week you know you could trade maybe two or a couple times a month that's all it takes is trading maybe a couple times what it comes down to is having patience and discipline. Patience and discipline. That's all it takes. Because all it takes is one trade to make up for all those times you sat on your hands. And all it takes is one trade to, to make a lot of money. You know, be, be like a sniper. You know, you're sitting and you're waiting. And that's why you study so much. You study setups. You study patterns. You study everything about the market. And over time, it all starts to come together. You start to realize, if you really do, that I don't need to trade every day. Yeah, I'll be in the market every day, but I'll be waiting, waiting for my setup waiting for a pattern to present itself waiting for an opportunity waiting for something that i've studied 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 for it to come up and then when it presents itself capitalize on it that's what it's all about you don't trade every single day that's how you blow up your account that's how you slowly drain your account and it took me a while to realize that. I had two brokers at one point. Two brokers to have six day trades a week. And I would use them all. And then I was even swinging stocks overnight. Because I felt like I had to trade every day. That is not the case. It's all, like I said, it's all about patience and discipline. Waiting for your setup waiting for market conditions and waiting for a trend so you don't have to trade every day you really don't you know um, and that's what I was saying it took me a while to figure that out I want to be in this for the long run I know when you first start off you're all excited your adrenaline's pumping when you get into a trade it's exhilarating it's 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 crazy you know, it, it really is crazy that you can make a lot of money with just a couple clicks of a button. It almost seems effortless in a way. And you're looking for that next big score. But, like I said, it, over time, you'll start to realize, yeah, overtrading is going to kill me in the market. 
it's best just to wait, have patience. If nothing's presenting itself, or if I don't feel uh, anything's popping off today, then I won't trade. And then you'll just uh, observe the market or something. So having patience and discipline, that's what it's all about. Three day trades is plenty. It's plenty, especially for someone who's just starting off, trust me. I know I, I hated being under the PDT rule, but it really is, it really, uh, you really don't need to trade that much. Like I said, you, it's more, it's more like being like a sniper waiting and just observing and waiting for your setups. I know at times too, it may seem unfair. You're, I was the poor man once. Um, I was just starting off with an account under a thousand dollars and when you're just getting into the stock market and penny stocks um, like I said again you feel like you got to get rich quick make a lot of money quick uh, you want to learn it as fast as possible you're looking for the secret what's the secret all the traders know you know, I gotta, I gotta watch all this, all these videos and all this information to see if one of these traders will reveal the secret on how to make all this money. There is no secret. I hate to burst your bubble. Hard work, dedication, studying, and being patient and studying charts. Charts, charts, charts. Always looking at charts. Charts in different time frames knowing the ins and outs of the market the more you learn the more the picture starts to come together I'm telling you it's the truth that's why you have to dedicate yourself to this and stay focused and just always try to learn more and more and more and more because the more you learn the more it's gonna make sense and sometimes it may take you a while to put it together it took me a while to put it together it took me about nine months, almost a year, to put it all together and have that ah, uh, that aha moment. Don't just learn from one person. Like I said before, come into this with an open mind. Learn from as many traders as possible to speed and up your learning curve. And then you're also learning different strategies. You're learning different perspectives of the market. The more traders you learn from, the more, uh, like I said, perspective you'll get of the market, strategies, and the way other traders view the market. It's I'm all about learning from other traders. I follow, I follow a lot of traders, a lot. Some of the traders I follow, follow are Timothy Sykes. He was one of the first people I've started following when I got into the stock market. One of the very first people. Um, I follow Timothy Sykes. I follow Ross from Warrior Trading. Uh, I follow Sean Deckmar from Deckmar Trades. I follow Investors Underground, Investors Live. And there's a couple of students of Timothy Sykes that I follow as well. Roland Wolf, Tim Gertani. It's always good, like I said, to learn from as many traders as you can. Because it will speed up your learning curve and you will learn different perspectives of the market. And I know it's tough when you're first starting off. You have your account under a grand. And these gurus want a couple grand for their DVD or they want to charge you $300 for a subscription a month to their chat room and all their their video library um, and you're like ah, my accounts under a thousand dollars why would I fork over two grand you know to learn something that I, I might not even like you know and then that's the part where you branch off and you go on YouTube, you go on Google, and you start reading and you start watching videos. Of, there is a lot of information out there and it's free. A lot. 
But the only tough thing is, once you learn all that information, is putting it in order. Because it's like throwing a, a 10,000 piece puzzle on the ground. And then you're, you're putting it, you're just grabbing a piece, piece by piece, and you're getting a look at it. That's all it is. And then you're slowly putting it together. But then you have the person who made that puzzle, or you got a magic, uh, I would say, wizard that could effortlessly put the puzzle together without even looking at it. What I'm saying is, learn, go on the internet, go on YouTube, get all the free information that you can. Dig deep. I'm talking dig deep. Take notes. Take lots of notes and go back and read those notes. Be there every day for the market and observe the market. Even if you can't be in the market, maybe uh, if you have a desktop or something, you can record the market while you're at work. And when you get home from work, you can just turn it on and observe it. Go over your recordings or wait till the weekend when you have time off and go over all those recordings and observe the market. You know, you could do stuff like that. But like I said, what I'm trying to get across is learn all this information that you can. Dig deep, deep, and deeper and learn as much as you can. And once you feel like you you want to do this, okay, I want to dedicate myself to this. I know I want to do this. Then that's when I would say, okay, go off and find yourself a guru that knows what he's doing and someone that you also trust. Do a back check on them. Uh, you know, see what other people are saying about them. Another one too is Clay Trader. I, I love his podcast that he does. There's just all kinds of stuff out there for you guys to learn and uh, traders to discover. And it's all up to you guys to put in the effort, like I said, to learn all this stuff. If you're not going to put the effort in, you're not going to have a chance in the market. You're not. If you don't want to do the work, you might as well walk walk right out the door. And that's the honest truth. I can't sugarcoat it and say, oh, they'll, they'll, they'll tell you exactly what to do, where, when to buy and when to sell. And you guys will, you know, be making a lot of money. It doesn't work like that. Even when you sign up for the gurus and you're watching these videos, they tell you right off the bat, do not follow my stock picks. Do not follow what I do. Don't be a sheep. You want to come up with your own strategy. You know, observe and do what you want. Come up with your own strategy and plan. They only tell you uh, the stocks they're playing and they present to you their trades because they want you to look at the charts and look at their trades to see what they're looking at when they're observing these stocks. What was going through his mind? Why did he buy in right there? Why did he sell right there? And then read the chart. And a lot of these guys, they go over their trades. They'll tell you why they bought in, why they sold. Like I said before, don't follow their trades. If you follow other people's trades, you will lose your butt off. And pretty much what you're... There was, the, there was a thing I heard. Was a lot of people don't like to take responsibility. When they make a mistake or when they take a loss. So when they do take a loss or they make a mistake, they have somebody to blame it on. So like if you're following somebody and they put a stock alert, stock alert out and you follow them and it's a loser, what's going to be the first thing that runs through your mind? You're going to start blaming the person who put the stock pick out or the alert. But when really it's really your fault for following their trade or their alert because they told you in the beginning do not follow my stock uh, alerts or my trades 
why they alert them is for you to see what's going on and see 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 the potential of what could happen put your, your own plan together and your strategy and stick with it and then I highly recommend as well I know it sucks but you're gonna want a paper trade when you first start out you are going to want to paper trade trust me you will lose your butt off when you're first starting off because you're learning everything that's like uh, handing somebody a basketball and they've never played basketball in their life and they say okay go to the free throw line and go around the three-point line and start shooting baskets and try to make as many as you can consecutively too chances are high percentage they're not gonna make consecutive baskets and they're not gonna make a lot of baskets because they've never shot a basket in their life same thing goes with trading you're not gonna be perfect when you first start off you're gonna need to learn it you're gonna need to practice and you're gonna need to see how this actually works and the only way to do that is through trial and error and they have they have it to where you can paper trade you know you can sign up with a broker good example is you can sign up with TD Ameritrade you don't have to put no money in the account they give you a thinkorswim platform for free other brokerages charge you for platforms live market data thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade they give it all to you for free and all you need to do after you open it up is call them right back up and ask for real-time quotes on your paper trading account and they'll be more than happy to set that up for you and then every single day go in and practice 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 if you fail don't look at it as disappointment look at it as an opportunity to learn and move on learn from your mistakes and move on I still make mistakes and I learn from my mistakes and I move on and like I said when you first starting off I highly 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 recommend paper trading the only thing that's not great with paper trading is there's no emotions in paper trading that's the only thing I do not recommend Robinhood for day trading you could do it for swing trading you know or if you're into Bitcoin because they got that now I know they are growing and getting bigger yeah it's free commissions but it's just horrible you don't have level two you don't have candlestick charts if you don't know what candlesticks candlesticks are then I highly recommend you learn about candlesticks they have line charts their customer service is horrible but I gotta take a step back when I first started getting into the stock market and traded trading I I started using Robinhood this is why I'm telling you you know it's I don't recommend Robinhood for day trading because you, you don't have an edge you don't you don't have an edge and why would you do something when you don't have an edge when the risk is higher than the reward when you're day trading on something like that you know you need level two quotes you need charts and you need to look at history when getting it um when you're observing the action the more you get into the market there is just so much to learn so 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 much i know it can be overwhelming but take it one day at a time do the best you can do and don't be lazy with it you know there is a lot of opportunity with this and it can take you places for sure you know I know you all see the famous Tim Sykes travel in the world making trades and you're saying he's a he's a he's a phony he's he's not real what he's doing is a scam he's telling you the truth the only the only way he got to where he is is because he dedicated himself 
really he promoted himself a lot. So he's like he's the, he's a big face in the penny stock world, and I'm pretty sure seventy percent of penny stock traders who first got involved got involved, and the first person they've seen was Timothy Sykes. So that's my own statistic. A good tip for you guys is to take a lot of notes, buy a lot of binders, and take as many notes as you can, and buy a jumbo binder, a big binder, and all the notes that you take, put it all in those binders. All the charts you take, put it in them binders, because it's always good to look back on that and refresh your memory on a lot of stuff that you've learned. Cause I, I find I found myself going back from time to time and it's good to learn on in sections so a week you learn candlesticks the next week you learn level two the next week you learn at time frames and then you go back and revisit your notes on candlesticks and then uh, further investigate into the candlesticks and then move on back to level two and it's, it's good to work like that to refresh your memory and then, and then to dig deeper into learning and taking more notes. You can never take enough notes. The way I look at it is you're visually learning and then you're writing it down, which is uh, writing it on the paper, which is also writing it in your mind to stick and then going back and reading it. There's a lot of benefits to that right there. It's always good to push yourself to grow as a person and to grow as a trader. So push yourself and study, study, study. This is a skill. Once you learn it, you have the skill for a lifetime. Some people believe it. Some people don't believe it. But I am a big believer in psychology. Now, it took me a moment to learn about psychology and to discover psychology. Um, there is a lot to go into it and it really, really, really opened my eyes once I discovered it and learned about it. There are good books you can um, learn about uh, day trading psychology. There are good traders out there that also believe in good psychology and everything that you learn and then put psychology with it it really brightens up a lot of aha moments and thinking what um, other traders are doing and thinking like um, like the moving averages you got the 50 and the 200 day moving average how the price goes right up to it and comes right back down psychology behind that is a lot of traders use those moving averages so you don't want to use some random moving average like the 75 day moving average because there's no traders out there that use that moving average uh, majority and a lot of traders use the basic moving average because if you go on chart sites like big charts or not big charts stockcharts.com and other charting sites the basic moving averages they have is the 50 the 200 day moving average and that's what a lot of other traders are looking at so why not look at what other traders are looking at and that's why a lot of times you will see on a chart on the daily chart the price will come right up to that moving average and it cannot get over that and it'll come right back down or it'll bounce right off of that and that's because other or a lot of other traders are seeing that exact same thing in that's where they are buying and that's when they are selling only if this the stock has volume though too you know you don't want to trade something with no volume as it's coming up to a moving average it's very important that a stock has vol volume and you need volume to get in and out you need um, you need a buyer and you need a seller to execute a trade you don't want to get stuck in a trade Going back to dedicate yourself and wanting to do this, you you want to strive to be better and you always have to study. 
Um, and it's always great, like I said, to learn from other traders. And there are a lot of great traders out there that post on uh, YouTube all the time. I know Warrior Trading posts a video every single day of what he did in the market. Timothy Sykes is always posting videos on YouTube. But then you also have other traders that post a video once in a while. And it's good to subscribe to their channels and get uh, notified when they post a, a new video or something for you to watch and learn and study. Because it's good information what they put out. It really is good and it will teach you a lot. And just don't follow anybody. There are a lot of scams out there and there are a lot of people out there looking just to make money off of subscriptions and uh, I would say pump stocks. You know, make sure the person is credible, like I said. And there are a lot of scams out there. So you got to look in and make sure they're credible and see what people are saying about them. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You know, reach out to traders out there and ask questions. It may take them a minute to get back to you, but I'm sure they will answer your questions that you have. I really hope this video helped a lot of you out and opened your eyes and letting you know that everything that you're going through right now, all traders went through what you're going through when just starting and it's the process just remember when you look back at this and you're learning you're gonna laugh and you're gonna say man I was really hard on myself when I was learning I, I really kicked my butt when I made a mistake or something and you can't look at it like that you gotta when you make a mistake you gotta look at it as like I said a learning opportunity and when you learn from it it makes you better and there's a saying too, you're only as good as your last trade. So it also makes you want to strive, be good, try out new stuff, learn new stuff, and really put effort into this. Because like I said before, don't expect to just walk in here and follow people and follow the stocks that they pick and you're going to make a lot of money or you're going to make a lot of money fast. It takes a lot of dedication to this. It takes a lot of patience and waiting for setups to happen. Waiting for your play to pop up. Waiting. Patience and studying. Waiting for your play to pop up, like I said. There are going to be a lot of things traders say over and over and over again. And if they're going to sound like a broken record and you're still not going to listen to them but they're telling the truth you know history repeats itself that's why we study uh chart patterns patterns these patterns pop up all the time and it, we're just waiting for them to pop up again not playing a low flow pump or something you know anything that just pops up you know, we're waiting for these setups and these chart patterns that we've studied over and over and over again. And if you don't study, you're going into the market unprepared. And statistics, there's a lot of statistics when it comes to being a trader. Um, statistics say when you're not prepared, you're more likely to fail. So why not study and prepare yourself? That way, when the opportunity presents itself, you're able to capitalize on it. Also, don't be afraid to try out different brokers. You know, there are a lot of brokers out there. Don't get married to just one broker. All brokers have their ups and downs. And pick whatever best one fits you as a trader and fits your strategy the best. Maybe you're more of a long biased trader. You know, and this broker is more centered around that. Go with that. Maybe you're more of a short trader. And this broker focuses more or has shares available short. And go with that broker. You know, all these brokers have their pros and cons and their different areas that they're stronger in. And also, don't be afraid to uh, haggle with your broker for commissions. Um, even though commissions 
uh, aren't really expensive like they once were. They are cheap, cheaper now, I would say, and they will continue to get cheaper because of the phenomenon of uh, Robin Hood and keeping up with the competition. Don't expect to first start off uh, being a day trader and open a brand new account and already instantly trying to haggle with your broker for cheaper commissions. Um, you're going to want to dedicate yourself to that broker for a moment and be with them for six months or maybe almost a year and then approach them and say, hey, I've been with you guys this long. I love your guys' platform and your guys' commissions are eating away at a lot of my profits, I would say. And work something out with them. You know, never be afraid to call your uh, broker and ask questions. I see a lot of people on social media asking gurus questions when they could easily be answered by their broker. That's what they're there for. That's what you're paying your commissions for. You know, for them to be there for any questions that you guys have. That's their job. So don't be afraid to call them and ask them. Another good point is it may feel like you're when you're first starting off and doing this that you're gonna you're gonna feel lonely because no one around you, no family member, no friends, uh, don't understand or get into what you're getting into. And that's when it's good to go off and join Facebook groups, trading groups, socialize with other traders. Uh, branch off, see what other traders are out there, start building a community or something, or look to join a community. You know, there are a lot of, there are a lot of traders and groups out there, but also you have to be uh, weary about the ones that are out there. Like I would not recommend stock twits or listening to anybody in stock twits because on stock twits, nobody ever loses. Everybody's always right. Everybody, there's a lot of trolls, I would say, on stock twits. Um, the only thing I use stock twits for is to see how much uh, people are talking about a specific ticker. But then I never get on stock twits. It just, I, I don't care for it. Why well, get on stock twits when I can get on Twitter? But that's me personally, you know, and. All the stuff you're about to be learning, you're going to like things, other other things more than this person or, you know, that's, that's really the cool thing about being a trader and learning all this is everybody is different in their own way and you can develop your strategy based around your personality and the person that you are. But going back to what I said, don't beat yourself up too much about this. You're going to make mistakes, you're going to be overwhelmed, and you're going to feel like you're never going to get this because you keep failing and failing and failing. It's going to take a moment for you to consume all of this and to put it all together. And then what I'm telling you, one day out of nowhere, you're just going to it's going to be like a switch and you're going to have that aha moment and a lot of stuff is going to start coming together and you're going to be like wow okay now I see how that works and then I see how that works with this and okay now I see what he was talking about when he put um, was talking about this and so on and so on <clears throat> you will get there if you stick with it and study your butt off, you will get there. And I am proof of that. I'm not 100% there, but I still, I will always have room to grow as a trader and as a person. And it's all about pushing yourself to get to that next level and learning from others and sharing what you know for other people to learn. Because it, it's it's a tough it's a tough one out there learning this, but I honestly have to say, and I mean this, I mean this a hundred percent. You have to do the work. You have to. 
You have to dedicate yourself to this, and you have to study, study, study. Stay in over the weekend and study. Study late into the night. Observe market conditions. You gotta know when trends are happening. You gotta know bull market, a bear market. You know, I didn't know any of that when I first started uh, getting into this. I didn't know what a bull market, bear market was. I didn't know what a trend was. Uh, I didn't know about market conditions, um, earnings season. There's a lot to learn. And while you're learning all that, why not practice and come up with a strategy just paper trading? Or just simply um, just saving, you know? Just saving until you can actually, all right, I'm going to start doing this. And, you know, because when you first start off, percentage is really high that you are you are going to blow up your account. I've blown up a couple of accounts. I've blown up a couple of accounts and it sucked. It sucked starting over at zero and building my way back up. It really did. And it was really discouraging. That's why a lot of people quit and don't do this. You know, they give up because they jump into it and then they blow up their account and then they say, yeah, it is gambling. It is a scam. I've ran into a guy at work. He said, yeah, he tried penny stock once and he put all his money into one penny stock and just let it sit there and it didn't do nothing and it slowly he lost it all. And I said, that's not a strategy at all. That's bag holding. A lot of times when I tell people, you know, I'm in and out of a stock within minutes or, you know, or within an hour, they don't, it's like they don't believe me, you know, and you're going to come across people like that too. You know, a lot of people, people fear what they don't know. That's what I'll say. And when you tell people about what you do, they'll immediately tell you it's a scam, it's gambling. Because like I said, people fear what they don't know. And have they actually looked in to the stock market, penny stocks, and day trading? And they'll say no. Then, then how can you say that about that? Don't knock it until you try it, is what I say. Who knows? You know, someone who's knocked something and, and talked, yeah, it's gambling. No, it's risky. Don't do it. And they actually start learning about it, watching videos on it. And then they start falling in love with it, and then it becomes a passion. And then they just run with it. And they go full force, and it's just opened up their life, you know. It's crazy the way life works and opens up doors. Two years ago, if you would have told me you would have gotten into, if I would have gotten into day trading and penny stocks and looking at charts every day, I would have said, yeah, right, that's not me. I like watching horror movies. I like watching horror movies and relaxing and just chilling. Would have blown my mind looking into the future two years later. You never know what life has in store for you. You never really do. That's why you take advantage of what's in front of you. And like I said before, come into this with an open mind. Always have an open mind. Never be afraid to learn something new. This is a day trader confession video. I know this is going to be a long one, just like a few other of my videos, but I really like di diving into these videos and uh, talking freely with you guys about, about what's going on in this crazy stock market world. I'll, tell, I'll, I'll mention another thing. When you get really get into this, you really it, it's really fascinating and crazy how the market moves with the world. It really is. And it just blows my mind. The simplest news could have the greatest effect on the market. Or, you know, a disaster happens and then all, a, this sector or these tickers that are kind of related to this disaster that happened be just be exploding and taking off and 
in a way, a lot of people are feeling bad because this disaster happened, but also a lot of people are banking on a disaster that just happened. It's just all mind-blowing. And you don't only have to trade penny stocks. You don't only have to trade penny stocks. There's other markets out there. You know, there's options, Forex, um, there's ETFs, all kinds of stuff, all kinds. And I've never actually went off and branched off and learned about Forex options and all that other stuff. And there's even Bitcoin. You know, we had the Bitcoin craze literally a year ago. And people are, you know, trading that. And do whatever interests you. The stock market interests me. So this is what I stick to. And this is what I want to learn. And I'm not being closed-minded. It's just, I don't, I, I personally don't like to take on all kinds of different projects and try to accomplish them all at the same time. I like to focus on one thing and try my best at that and I absolutely love what I'm doing right here so I have no problem doing this you know I have a passion for this I really do but that's gonna be it for this video guys I hope this answered a lot of questions and if you guys have any questions feel free to drop it down below I'll leave links to my website I also have a Facebook group and you guys can hit me up on any one of those. Um, I am here for you guys. Let's grow this community into something. Like, I, Let's grow this community into something. You know, trade, uh, trade ideas with one another. Help each other grow as traders. You know, I'm all about helping other people learn. And maybe I'll learn something new. I love learning new stuff. Informing me, informing each other on what's going on. You know, because the market is so big, you can't really keep an eye on everything at the same time. The more eyes, the better. Yeah, I hope this video answered a lot of your guys' questions. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button for me. It means a lot. And until next time, guys. Be patient and wait for that trade. Alright guys, later.